Over 40% of Michigan homes use septic systems to treat their household waste. These systems are underground, so are easy to ignore. But lack of proper care can result in costly problems that hurt our pocketbooks and our environment. Understanding your septic system is the first step to keeping it working properly. Here's how it works. When the wastewater from the house enters the tank, some of the solids settle to the bottom and other ways such as oils and fats float to the top. Only the liquid from the middle zone leaves the tank for the drain field where it flows through a series of pipes with openings that allow the water to percolate into gravel surrounding the pipes. As the wastewater moves into the gravel and the soil underneath, the contaminants in the sewage are filtered and treated with bacteria that occur naturally in the soil. Let's look at a few common myths. This family just paid $10,000 for their new septic system. Now our system will last forever. No way. The average life of a septic field is only 20 years. But until then, we can use it without a care. Actually, no. They must be treated carefully or they will fail even sooner. What goes down our drains is gone for good. Wrong again. Americans pump over 4 billion gallons of wastewater a day underground and it doesn't just disappear. Septic systems connect to our environment. After being treated in our septic tanks and drain fields, wastewater re-enters our groundwater, streams and lakes. Improperly treated household wastewater can contaminate our well water, swimming beaches, and wildlife habitat. Following a few simple guidelines will ensure your system works effectively. For instance, provide a barrier so vehicles don't drive or park over it. Compaction can remove the air spaces in the gravel, so critical to the percolation process. Tanks must be pumped regularly to remove the built-up sludge and scum layers. If there is not enough room in the tank for proper settling to occur, solids and fats can be pushed out before the tank can do its job. Solids that leave the tank can clog the pores between the stones. This will cause the drain field to become saturated and unable to treat the sewage, allowing contaminants to reach our environment and the system to back up. Oh no! It's really important to be careful what you put down your drain. Put fats in the trash so they don't clog up your system. Don't rely on your garbage disposal to get rid of food scraps. Compost or trash them instead. Gardens love your coffee grounds, but septics hate them. Drains aren't trash cans. These are some of the worst cloggers. Put them in your trash, not down your drain. And just because a label says it's flushable or biodegradable does not mean it's safe for septics. And septics do not remove chemicals. Take things like solvents, paints, and pesticides to your local household hazardous waste collection site. Septic systems also don't remove the chemicals in medicines, and these compounds are showing up in our lakes and streams, posing a danger to wildlife. So wrap and trash them instead. Phosphates are found in most dishwasher detergents and are not removed by septics. They end up in lakes and streams where they cause an overgrowth of algae, which fouls our beaches and removes vital oxygen from the water. Look for phosphate-free. As each gallon enters the tank, an equal amount is pushed out. The tank needs time to do its job properly, so don't use a lot of water-producing appliances all at once and don't let water run unnecessarily. Until you need it, turn it off and save up for full loads of laundry instead of lots of little ones. Buy low flow toilets and replace old laundry machines, shower heads, faucets and dishwashers with the new ones that follow today's water saving standards. If you have a leaky faucet or toilet, fix it immediately. Even a slow leak can overwhelm your system. Watering over the drain field can also lead to saturation and septic system failure. Remember, it's all connected. For yourself and for future generations, please take good care of your septic system.